Well, welcome to this combined value made in UK drug testing product demonstration video. We're going to run you over these new uh, 11 drug saliva drug tests made for us by all tests for the UK drug testing website. Combination of 10 drugs plus alcohol. So let's just run through the combination that we've got on here. Opiates or morphines at uh, 40 nanograms, methamphetamine at 50, amphetamine at 50, ketamine at 50, cocaine 20, benzodiazepines at 50, methadone at 30 nanograms, MDMA, that's ecstasy at 50, tramadol 30 and cannabis at 12. And then the alcohol gives you a real time saliva, blood alcohol equivalent and a semi-quantitative reading. Pack contents, as you can see, is a CE marked. Catalog code DSD8117. Got the 10 drugs there plus alcohol, making it an 11 drug total screen. Standard C markings along the outer aspect. Carton size, as you can see, is 20 in the manufacturer's original packaging as it is currently being packed, as you can see in front of you. So let's open a box, show you the drug tests, and run you through a procedure for running one of these tests. Okay, so we're inside the pack. First thing that greets you if you're ordering a full manufacturer's pack is this simple quick procedure card. This is just a quick graphical representation of the procedure that you follow to run the test, single sided. You'll also get an evaluation colour card. Now, most of these relate to the adulteration tests on equivalent urine products. The one you're interested here on this product is the alcohol uh, results indicator. Uh, and that is included in this test. The rest you ignore. You also, if you're ordering a full manufacturer's carton of 20, will get this very detailed manufacturer's full IFU, that's instruction for use, cross reactivity, data sheet. It's, I think, five pages in total. Lots of information in there. Not all of it's going to be of interest or use to you, but certainly if you start getting some positive results with these tests, then the information in there in terms of specificity, cross-reactivity and drug reactions will be of interest. This is the foil as it's presented. Again, all the CE marks along the front. Again, the listing of the drugs included in the test. And these are individually foil wrapped with the expiry date on them. So let's open one of these and show you what's inside. Let me take that out of the way and show you the packaging. Okay, right. Now in here, you will also have this little pouch this is just desiccant, basically keeps the drug test perfectly dry while it's been stored and transferred to you. This is the actual drug test barrel. The orange label across the front is the bit you remove to uh, show the results windows at the read time. And in the top you'll see the sponge cellophane wrapped with its stalk and stick. This is very rigid and firm when it comes out and there's no way that this can be screwed down or closed off. This is the sponge that is the collection sponge, goes into the mouth, it's worked really well around the oral cavity and the key here for detecting particularly drugs such as cannabis is to get a really good oral swab including all the buccal membranes, top of the tongue, under the tongue, in front and back of the teeth and you ask the actual donor to do that in front of you and then to place the swab onto the, the tongue or under the tongue and then to fully saturate it with saliva. And when that has been completed, the sponge will be extremely floppy and soft, and you will then be able to take it and screwing it down into the barrel will discharge the saliva into the base, and around the base you can see the peripheral location of all these test strips which will then sit in the saliva sample and start running. And at that stage, once it's connected together, you place it on a flat surface upright and leave it for between five and 10 minutes, at which time you read the results. So let's run one of those tests for you and show you the full procedure. Okay, now this swab has been worked really thoroughly around the oral cavity and saturated with saliva. You can now Screw the cap right the way down into the base and it should discharge its saliva into the base of the drug test barrel. You then need to start a clock or stopwatch on your phone so that you can count for five minutes and at that stage you should have your results starting to develop. For positive results where there's no test line but control line show, you need to wait the full 10 minutes from when this test is combined. 
important things about collecting the saliva that we're just going to run over with you here while this test is running. You can see plenty of saliva in the base here. Got to leave that upright so that it evenly distributes to all the saliva tests around the periphery of this barrel. The donor should not have eaten or drank for at least 10, ideally 20 minutes before you collect the saliva. And with cannabis, you're ideally going to test them before they've eaten, drunk, or washed the oral cavity out, i.e. brushed their teeth or had extensive drinks after the cannabis, if you suspect them of doing so, has been consumed. This is because the saliva membranes will only detect the parent or original drug compound that's deposited around the oral cavity and doesn't have the ability to screen for any of the metabolites or breakdown products that could be excreted back from the blood through into the saliva. So the window for detection is dependent on that. Now we're just going to wait for the five minutes and we're going to come back and show you the results on this 11 drug saliva barrel test. Okay, well, we're now at the final stage of this drug test. We've uh, had the test combined for five minutes and we're going to remove the window to reveal the test results. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk you through reading is the alcohol test, which is the ALC membrane here. And you're looking to match that color on the pad against the nearest color on this scale. Now, the darker blue it goes, the higher the alcohol level. And you can see if I put it the right way up, that this one is negative. There's no alcohol detected in the saliva in this sample. But if you get one of these blue discolorations at five minutes, then you should indicate the relative level or percentage of BAC comparing that blue color. And then you're looking at all your drug membranes, okay? With the coatings at the top, the control lines along the top, and at the bottom, you've got the test lines. And you can see this test has a full set of control lines and test lines. Let me just bring that closer so you can get a better view of it. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so we've got all control lines and all test lines indicating a full negative drug screen. So none of those drug groups have been detected at the cutoff levels for these test membranes. You will note on here an example of a very faint test line, and you may see some variance in the color density and saturation of these test lines. They all, if there is a test line presence in the presence of a control line, that is a clear negative test result. You do not try and interpret anything by the color density, thickness, or line color saturation of the test line. So there you have it. In five minutes, we've got all negative results. As I said earlier, if you were getting a positive result, then you would want to wait for 10 minutes from the test being uh, started to allow any test line to develop. But if there's nothing showing at 10 minutes, that is a non-negative indicator that something's been detected. And at that stage, you would want to move to a confirmation laboratory test using an accredited lab service to confirm what was causing that positive result. So there you have it, the UK drug testing, 11 drug rail side saliva screen. We have got a comparable urine test that we're gonna be doing separate videos on to demonstrate. So if uh, you do choose to do either saliva or urine testing, you've got a product with the right combination in for doing rail side workers. Thanks for watching.